Okay, this is Jared from Buffalo Cooley Wood Products. Uh, I'm out here in Cummings, North Dakota. Grounds frost finally coming out of the ground, still real wet. I want to do some sawing today, so I got to relevel the mill. We haven't used it in a couple months because the frost messes the track up because we don't have a concrete pad. So leveling the track can be quite frustrating, but anyway, I was going to explain to you what we do today as far as leveling the mill. It's what we found to be the best thing so we'll just get into it here uh, we got our HM 126 Woodland Mills so what we do is we use a string like a masonry string that you can pull real tight you can get a lot of tension on it basically what we did is we took the bottom or the end two bunks and just put some self tapping screws in there and then we run a string down here like this and then I'm gonna attach it to this self tapper here I'm gonna pull on it real good Give it a couple wraps go over to the other one I got it wrapped on that one wrapped on that one and while holding the phone, I'm going to attempt to run this other string back down to the other end. I'll set it in here for a second. Move the mill head. Okay, and then we'll pull the rest of the string out. And I'm going to attach it to that screw there, so one second. Okay. So you can see the string running down both sides. And all the bunks in the middle are lower than the two end bunks, which is good because that gives you a starting place. You can see here, that string isn't touching. So basically you just go in there and you got your screws here or your nuts here. You loosen that top one and then go down on the bottom and crank it up until it touches. That's it. We found this to be the easiest way. All them, we tried using levels and you know, all kinds of stuff and we just could never get it right. So one day I was just thinking a string would be pretty good. So this is what we came up with and it works really good. So hopefully this helps some people out. Thank you.